What's up Team Upcast, Jonathan Buckhouse here and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to get full control of your snowboard because you really can't become an incredible snowboarder until you literally have full control of this board. It is literally a second part of your body and the best way to do that is by knowing the eight pressure points of a snowboard. Now every snowboard has eight pressure points and then you're like, what, what are you talking, eight pressure points? Well, four are obvious and four are kind of like hidden and the four that are hidden are the ones that are gonna unlock your snowboard for you. So first pressure point is obviously gonna be your tail. You got your tail pressure point, boom, just right there. Then you're gonna have your nose pressure point, pressure point number two, just the nose press. Then you have your heel side edge, which is how you stop, and your toe side edge, which you also stop on your toe side edge, but you know what I'm saying, like your heels, your toes, your tail, and your nose, kind of rhymed. So that's the first four pressure points of your board. The next four are gonna be a little trickier. You have your tail, toe side pressure point. Then you have your tail, heel side pressure point, your nose, toe side pressure point, and your nose, heel side pressure point. That sounds crazy and sounds like a lot, but there is a ton of times in snowboarding when you're ripping turns or spraying or ollieing or doing a nose press when it's best to use only heel side tail pressure point of your board or the nose tail side pressure point of your board. So literally everything else is gonna be not touching the snow, but this section of your board. So how do you put the proper pressure with your body to those points of your board in order to lock them in? I know like when I'm doing a tail press, yes, I can do straight tail press, but if I do tail press and lean forward a little bit and really lean into that toe tail pressure point, it lets me lock in on my tail press better, thus giving me a longer, better tail press. Now there are tons of drills that you can do to get out and learn these pressure points, mainly just going out and jumping or popping in a, like a buttery section to that pressure point. If you wanna get good at butters, you have to be able to do and know all these pressure points. Cause if I'm gonna do like a 180 tail press spin, while I'm spinning, I'm literally going from one pressure point of the snowboard to the other pressure point of the snowboard. As well as if I'm just bombing down a hill and I wanna make a cool spray, maybe I wanna just pop up and use my heel tail pressure point, do a quick little jump spray, something like that. This is gonna unlock the board, make it literally a second part of your body and just make you so comfortable on this snowboard. The other thing you can do to be more comfortable on your snowboard is just snag an evolution sticker. They're linked in the description. They do help you just be comfortable. So that's what I've heard in the comments. I don't know, you tell me, snag one, let me know. Obviously that's a joke, but the whole point of this video guys is to just let you guys think a little bit more about your board, about where you're putting the pressure when you're doing turns or doing butters. So many people just think like, oh, I'm on my heel side, I'm on my toe side, I'm on my tail or my nose, but there are other areas in which you can put pressure on your board to be able to do tricks or pops or spins that you never thought you'd be able to do. Like if you're gonna pop a frontside 360 on a little bump in the snow, you really gotta load that heel side tail pressure point to pop, but also create the rotation to snap that three. So trust me, learn these pressure points. They're gonna help you tremendously. And with all that being said, if this video helped you, hit that subscribe button to my And as always, thank you so much for shredding with me today. Thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this Snowboard channel.